Hey guys, it's Miss Margot. I am going to show you how to grow fresh microgreens in your home. This is a super easy way to grow fresh greens inside your home all year round. So take a look. I started this one just a few days ago. It took a couple days to sprout and look at how it's growing now. The neat thing about growing this in plastic containers is you can see the roots growing down the side. See that? And do you notice anything about the sprouts on top? It looks like they're slanting a little bit one way. So I wonder why they're doing that. Why do you think they're slanting one way? I think it's because they're looking for the light. So when I put this back in my window, I'm gonna turn it around like that so that they start growing the other way. All right, so let's get started. It's super easy to grow microgreens. All you need are seeds, a container, and potting soil, uh, water, and you'll need a trowel or a scoop, and a sunny window. Okay, so these are the seeds that we'll use. Take a look. My superfood microgreen mix. This one has broccoli, purple, kohlrabi, radish, collard, and turnip. And you can see the pretty color sprouts that it makes. So that's what I planted in here. And when it gets to be about that tall, we'll be able to harvest it. I'll do another video showing uh, how to harvest. All right, so you take your container. So I already filled this one with dirt. You can see you want to fill it a little bit more than halfway, okay? So fill it up a little bit more than halfway with dirt, just like that. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit more, I'm gonna take a little bit more dirt, okay? And what we're gonna do is just pat it down. Just take a little bit more. All right, so. For this part, I don't mind using my hands, okay? I think this is the easiest way to make sure that you pat it down nicely. Now you don't wanna push it down, okay? So don't push it down very hard. Why wouldn't you wanna do that? Because then the roots will have a hard time getting through, all right? So you also don't want it to be too loose because you want it to have, you want the roots to be able to grow in there and have some stability. So you just want to kind of pat it down nicely and you want to make it nice and flat. Got it? You're going to make it look nice and flat, kind of like that. All right, then you're going to take your seeds and I'll just take a handful like that. Here, take a look. I'm going to sprinkle them on there, but I'll show you what these seeds look like. Can you see that? So the big seeds right there, those ones are radish okay the big ones are radishes and all the other small ones look all the same they look similar right that's because they're all in the same plant family so what i'm doing right now is just sprinkling them i'm holding them in one hand and i'm taking i'm pinching it with the other hand and i'm just sprinkling it right on the top okay you don't want to dig any holes don't like dig down and plant the seeds. You just want the seeds to be on an even surface. Got it? So sprinkle them around just on an even surface, just like that. Make sure you have a good amount. I'm going to show you, I'll show the camera about how many seeds we're talking about. So you want it to look Kind of like this, okay? Can you see? Oops, they're falling. Can you see? There's enough on there that they're kind of close together, but there's not too many, okay? You don't want them to be overlapping each other. You just want enough so that they're kind of sitting next to each other. Got it? All right. Now what I'm going to do is take a little bit more dirt. You're going to take just a little bit more dirt now and make like an even 
thin blanket on top of the seeds. I like to think of it just like, kind of like a thin blanket, okay? So you're putting them on top of the seeds. You can say goodnight to the seeds. Because right now they're going to go into the dark and that's how they're going to sprout. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a little bit more dirt with my hands. I don't mind using my hands when I do gardening. Some people like to use gloves and that works too, but I call this farmer hands. All right. Then of course, after this, I'm going to make sure that I wash my hands. <laughs> okay. All right, so now I'm patting down the dirt again, really gently, okay? You see how I'm doing that? All right, so. Now it looks like that. And I haven't, as you can see, I haven't filled the dirt all the way to the top. Okay, you're gonna, I'm gonna show you why. And so now what we're gonna do is just add water, all right? We're gonna add water. You want to make sure that you cover all of the whole surface with water, but you don't need to drench this too much. Okay. You don't want to add too much water that it's like flooding in there. That would be too much. Just add enough so that the top is covered. Okay. And all of the dirt has water on top. And you can tell the difference between dirt that has, that's wet and dirt that's dry. All right. If you look carefully at it, you can really tell. Okay. So this looks great. See that? All right. Now you want, you definitely want your container to have a lid. Okay. And right now we're going to leave it closed because that's gonna keep the moisture inside, okay? That's gonna help the seeds sprout. You're gonna leave it closed and you're gonna watch this every day and make sure that it's not drying out so you can water it every day, all right? Add a little bit of water every day and you will see in a couple days it's gonna to start to sprout. You don't need to put it in your sunny window until it sprouts, okay? Because the seeds are in darkness anyways. They don't need light right now, but they need light as soon as they start to sprout. Got it? Okay, so leave any questions or comments below the video and I'll be sure to answer them. All right, see you next time.